I was looking at the numbers, you know, today. Japan, their tax as a percentage of GDP is at 34.8%. In Kenya, we are at 15. Less than half what it is here. If we have to develop our country, Kenyans must roll up their sleeves and develop their country. Our country is not going to be developed by others. Our country is not going to be developed by aid. Our country is not going to be developed by debt. Our country is going to be developed by us. Japan is built by the Japanese using their own taxes. Kenya will be built by Kenya using our own revenues and our own taxes. That is a statement that we must tell each other. The one thing that I have committed myself to do is that we must then provide a guarantee that every Kenyan who pays for whatever service or pays whatever tax, that money should not be stolen by anybody. So long as we collect whatever tax we are collecting and we use it to grow our country, it is going to benefit us eventually. The one thing we must never do, and I will not do as president, is to say that there will be free lunch, that the country is going to be developed by borrowing money from other people, that the money is going to, that Kenya is going to be developed by others, and that it's going to cost us nothing to develop our country. That one I will not do, and I will not encourage you to do. And that is why I don't mind, you know. People call me names. But you see, when you are doing the right thing, your conscience is clear that you are doing the right thing. And I will do the right thing for our country, irrespective of what names people call me, including Zakai. So we have a program with the Japanese government uh, in, um, in, in, in Mue. We just we concluded with their support uh, the dam in Mue that is now enhancing our production of rice in Mue from uh, by an extra 10,000 acres. There is a small component that is left of about two billion shillings. It's the reason why I came to straighten it up so that we can conclude phase two of that project, some canals and some items. And uh, I have already received indication that uh, that will be um, something that we, I will have a conversation with the Prime Minister tomorrow evening. We are also working with Japan on a master plan because we have huge opportunity in Ahero, in Kuja, in uh, 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 Migori, in Pekera, in Baringo, in Tana River, in uh, Hola, in Bura, um, and in many other areas in Kenya. So. That is a conversation we are going to have. They are supporting us to work out a master plan so that we can invest appropriately in, in, that, uh, in that space. Secondly, we will be also having a conversation around mechanization. In fact, I will be meeting uh, JBIC and um, one of the providers of uh, equipment on how we can mechanize our, our, our agriculture because we still have almost 45% of our agriculture is not mechanized and that's why our productivity is low. Of people who have interacted with Kenyan human capital or Kenyan labor, they confess that it is a very professional, highly skilled, hardworking Kenyan labor force. So it's a premium 
any company, if they have a choice between hiring a Kenyan and hiring another person from another country, I don't want to say which one, <laughs> they will choose to go for a Kenyan. So because it's an asset that we have, we must make sure that we deploy it appropriately and we use it to drive our progress and our prosperity as a nation. As we digitize government services, as is expected, there is a lot of resistance. Initially, uh, we had something like I think 3,000 pay bills, you know? Now we have reduced the 3,000 pay bills to one so that we can have sight of government revenue. Uh, you may have heard uh, uh, the latest about uh, school fees in Kenya or, 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 or money that is paid uh, by parents uh, and some of the monies paid by parents uh, for example in boarding schools because we provide resources for um, learning in all our primary schools and secondary schools what parents pay is boarding fees and and uh, maybe lunch we are insisting because we realize that there are illegal levies charged by boards of management of schools that go into accounts that nobody knows. We expect to tap into expertise, like what the uh, Prime Cabinet Secretary was saying here, of Kenyans living abroad who are uh, experts and professionals in that space for them to work with us to see how we can secure our data. Uh, Geoffrey, you're listening. <laughs> yeah, how, we can, <laughs> how, how we can secure our data and how we can work together to make sure that uh, uh, services provided by the government of Kenya are seamless and uninterrupted. The reason why we are uh, signing some of the bilateral agreements is that in the past, because there wasn't, you know, deliberate government, you know, plan. Many of the workers that found their way into the diaspora were either professionals like you, uh, people who've gone out for scholarship, and some of the time, majority went to us domestic workers. We are recalibrating that and our bilateral labor agreements now reflect more skilled labor, professional labor, and the high-end labor because we have those kind of um, uh, uh, categories. And it is also the reason why we are spending more money. In fact, we just doubled the money for our Tibets so that we can grow more human capital that has different skills that is required uh, globally. It is my commitment also to expand the Kenyan diaspora because the Kenyan human capital is a big resource, is a big asset. Just for your knowledge, we spend 650 billion Kenya shillings. That's about $5 billion every year to educate our children from primary school all the way to our universities. That is big spending. In fact, it is close to 30% of the budget of the government of Kenya. And we are working on close to 15 different countries to sign a bilateral labor agreement with them. We have concluded some. In fact, uh, we are concluding the one with uh, uh, Germany before June. We already have many other 
bilateral labor agreements in, uh, in different stages because it is my intention to make sure that we have an extra one million Kenyans in the next five years working abroad. 